we're gonna figure this out. Oh, this is weird. There's something on it. I'm so nervous right now. So you saw in the last video that we found this safe up here. We are gonna take this right back to the cabin and see if we can kind of like try to crack the code. I've never done this before, have you? No, I have not. But I do love an escape room. All right, we are back at the cabin right now. We have the safe over here, but we cannot find like any clues whatsoever. We did see one little kind of scary thing. Welcome to our escape place. They call this their escape place. Coincidence? No, Matt. I feel like that was like escape, like an escape, not like. Oh. Uh, so we're gonna take this home, I think, and try to like figure out how to get this open at home. Like this is not something easy to pack. But what if it's like a million dollars? What is inside? You guys, comment below what you think is inside of this box and who you think wrote the note. My handwriting is way better than that. Uh, I feel like it might be a guy. You guys, comment below who you think it is. I have no clue right now, but. We're gonna figure this out. Hey guys, what is going on? We are back from Big Bear. And as you guys saw on the last video, we found a random note at the cabin we were staying at. Yeah. And then we found this map right here, which led us to finding that safe. It's very heavy, so we didn't want to pick it up. We couldn't figure out how to get into it as you saw up in Big Bear. Rebecca, don't. <laughs> we don't know the code. Uh, it was like beeping for like five minutes. I was trying to break into this. Yeah. It's like a little thing here. I don't even know what this is. It's hard. I don't know. Have you ever broken into a safe before? I have never broken into a safe, but I thought at worst case, we could always just drop this over our, our railing. You have to get the combo, so we need to find the combo. Okay. We found this right here. We just don't know what this is. It, it looks so weird. We've been waiting. So. I'm gonna look at it. Okay. Finally, welcome home. Now the real mystery okay. will begin. How did somebody get into our house? I have no idea. Now the real mystery will begin. You will know that you are on the right way when you find the book about first on race day. And there's dots. I'm gonna show you guys. I mean, I know the phrase first it's on it's race day. Uh, where we have books in our on our bookshelf. Okay. Okay, first Look on Look at this. Day. This is so weird. So, I don't even know what these books are. Like, we didn't buy these books. That's no, right. we didn't. <laughs> the lady that decorated our house bought these books. I have not read these books. So, I think it's this, what? Matt. First on race day. Do you guys know that acronym, Ford? First, first on, race. on race day. Yeah, exactly. Okay. We have what? solved. What? And there's like little words here? What is oh. That? Young Coyote in a box. The name. Ramada? What? Long water. I've never looked at this stuff. Hit. But under? Maybe it's a red herring. Rebecca doesn't know what a red herring is. Yeah, it's a fake clue. Just in case okay. you guys didn't know. You guys are helping us, so hopefully you guys are figuring this out with us. Okay, wow. You're doing so well. To keep this going, you will have to look under where you eat in the morning. Find the table. Do you know? Do you know? No. We'll eat breakfast here. There's literally nothing. I've never eaten breakfast there. Have you ever eaten breakfast? No, there? but I'm gonna just check it. I've eaten breakfast in the kitchen. We're not gonna figure this out. We ate at the roof. We eat on the roof. I ate on the roof this morning. Okay, we got it. It's right here. The bell. How do you know? Well, I'm sure it was underneath and it looks like there's tape on it. Come on back. I did not put that there. I don't care. I love a good escape room. Oh, this is weird. Okay. Oh, it's like a black light. Here is something to help you get a closer look. Look behind the palm in the sky. The palm in the sky. How, how are we supposed to get up there? I was like, maybe look through. I have no idea. Peanut, did you find it? There's no way we can get up to the palm trees up there. No, but we have the painting of Kelly. There's no Kelly palm tree. Yeah, there's a palm tree right there. Where? Okay. That was one of the photos Kelly took. Yeah. That would make sense though. It says palm, palm tree, it's in the sky. Can you think of, I'm trying to think if we have any other decorations of a palm tree. There's something. No, there's not. Yeah? No. Ah! At last, you can set me free. Use all the clues, but don't use a key. Are these the clues then? What are the clues that we have so far? This okay. was clue number, number two. two. Number three. What's interesting is these two are circled, but this one isn't circled. This is circled. Here is something to help you get a closer look. This is a black light, but just to recap what happened, we found a clue downstairs. It led us to the bookshelf, and there was a book, a Ford book, where we found the next clue, which led us then to where we eat breakfast in the morning, and then we opened that up, 
and we have a black light and the clue was something about palm trees and we came down here and the final one was right here. It says, at last you can set me free. Use all the clues, but don't use a key. So what do you guys think we should do with the black light? Like, I was just like, maybe it's on here somewhere. Oh. You know how things okay. pop up? Yeah, let us know in the comment section down below if you know what the black light is for. This is kind of weird. Also, let us know in the comment section if you like escape rooms or like scavenger hunts like this. This is, I don't know who set this up. So you want to try it on the papers? Yeah, let's try it on the papers. I have a black light too. But I am confused because there's two circles here. There's a circle there. I mean, are these supposed to be maybe, like... So three circles? Or? What's this code? Is I don't it know how many digits. digits. I have no idea. Maybe it's just three digits. Wait, do you think these are actually zeros and not O's? I don't know. I mean, maybe. It makes sense. Try out just three. Yeah, let's do it. Because maybe it's a three digit. Yeah, maybe it's three. But then why would they give us four codes? It or makes... a black light. And then what do you normally press? It's usually pound up. Yeah. Like... Oh, how do you know if it's right? It just said beep beep. Usually be like ding ding ding. Right? And beep, beep, beep. Come on, back. <laughs> okay, back to the clues. Okay. Back to the clues. So we have the envelopes. Yeah, I searched all these envelopes. Nothing's on them. Are you sure? I didn't do that one yet. There's something on it. I didn't see this one yet. <laughs> Matt. There's another O or a zero. So cool. I mean, there's no letters, so it has to be numbers. Okay, Sherlock Holmes. If you guys think it's four zeros, let us know in the comment section down below. We're gonna go try it on the safe right now. One, two, three, four. four. Okay. It's okay. Yeah. No! It's another clue! Oh, really? That's actually really disappointing because this safe is so heavy. We've had this for a while. I it thought there was something like, in there. It felt like something was uh. in there. Ha ha! You are so close. Now find a place too high to see. This too so high annoying. to see? Crazy. Can you guys comment below what you think is too high to see? But if we can't see it, how are we supposed to find it? I'm like just looking up. No, this is this is our highest room for sure. Okay. It's too high there. for me to see. Hold on, there's nothing there. <laughs> Where? That area. I've never been up there. There's just like one little corner that I wouldn't be able to see. Like as you guys can see, it's like it's empty. The only part would be just that little little area in the corner. I can go get a ladder. It has to be, they have to get up there somehow. You really think we should look? It's literally like just a small little area. Whatever. <laughs> this thing I think actually pulled out. Gosh, no. I think you need to go up there. I'm scared of heights, I think you should. Oh, thanks. Is this safe? Yeah, it's a ladder. Guys, come, come on, back. Comment below if you would do this right now. Because I'm a little scared. All right, come on, Beck. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous right now. Thumbs up if you think she's going to make it up there. Matt, don't! Oh! <laughs> I hope it's sturdy up there. There is stuff. No! There's stuff, Matt. No! It's the prizes. No way. I don't know if I can get up, though. Oh my gosh, I'm... I'm here, I'll, I'll catch you. Stop, Matt, don't. Please don't. Oh, I'm almost there. You guys, there are prizes. Kind of cool. You like it? But it's like dusty up here. I have a small confession. What? I hid all of this up here. You did the whole thing. I, know I knew it. it. I knew it was not Chad. It's so good. So good. I knew it. I knew it, you guys. Did I not say it? <laughs> I knew this. How you came up here all on your own? Yeah. When did you come up? Well, last time I had the ladder. You guys know that we have a giveaway going on for one million subscribers. And these are the other two missing prizes. This is the iPad mini, and this is a Polaroid camera, so if you want to win these, again, all you have to do is comment the state you live in, let us know that you are subscribed, you have notifications on, and the best way on social media to contact you for these. Oh my gosh, I don't know how we're gonna get them down, though. Maybe I throw them? Maybe, yeah, catch them, maybe. Give me a three, two, one. Three, two, one. Oh, I can't say. All right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this scavenger hunt that I did that Matt set up for me and pretended that it was somebody else. Oh my gosh, don't, oh, don't, 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 I'm just trying to rearrange the ladder here. Hold Stop, on. Stop, okay. don't. I'm just rearranging. I have to actually move it down a little bit. Let go. Okay. No, no, Matt, this isn't funny. You look good. Matt, stop. You know what I do want to do? I kind of want to do a 24 hour challenge up here. I'm not going to lie. Whoa. But with the ladder. With the ladder. I don't give a choice now. She's gonna be up there for 24 hours. Just stop! Okay, at least let me prep. Get the ladder and I'll come back up. I promise. I think this would be a cool challenge. As long as I have a ladder or a case of emergency. Matt, please! Right now? It's kind of early for the day. No, Matt, stop. Stop, Matt. Just let me give me, give me like 10 minutes. 10 minutes. 10 minutes, I'll start. 
I promise. Yes, you guys, you will see this 24-hour challenge tomorrow.